Ready? Leave 2020 behind and move on to 2021. It's good for us to be in church on New Year's Eve. It's good for us to be here to begin a new year. It's good for us to be here and ask God's blessings upon us. And our prayer is that the blessing that God gave to Moses is the prayer that will be the blessing upon us. He said, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you his peace. That is our prayer as we enter into 2021. Our prayer is that God will bless us. We look back at the past year and realize it's, it's been a difficult year, but even in the difficult moments, in the terrible times, in the limiting experiences, good has come out of it. We now live stream our masses. People who are shut-ins, people who are in Florida, can watch the mass. They can be here and be a part of this community. Funerals are being live streamed. Weddings are being live streamed. Baptisms are being, this is a good thing. From the pandemic came all of that. Good things came out of it. And being quarantined with your family, as crazy as it was, also helped you to draw closer to each other, to talk to each other, to listen to each other, to be a little more sensitive to the quirks of the other and to allow it to happen without being angry about it. Good has come out of it. Good has come out of this terrible year 2020. There have some, been some horrible losses, people not coming to church, people afraid to come to church, people giving up on church. And the big question, Father Deacon Dan and I, Father Dan. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, nah. Deacon Dan and I were talking about this before Mass. The big problem when this pandemic is over and life is normal again is how are we going to get these people back to church? How are we going to evangelize people to let them realize how important Mass is? how important sharing the Eucharist in person is, not virtual, but coming and sharing at the table of the Lord, hearing God's word and sharing this meal together. That's a task yet to be taken care of in 2021. It's been an interesting year. And as we come here to church on this, the Feast of the Solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God, the church in her wisdom presents to us Mary as a role model for the rest of the year. Mary, who was open to God, I will be your servant, whatever you ask of me. And she believed when the words of the angel came to her, Hail Mary, full of grace. She believed that God's grace would be with her strengthening her and guiding her and protecting her as she journeyed in faith to whatever God asks of her. And also she believed the words that said that the favor of God was upon her, that God would bless her. And it's that role model of Mary that the church presents to us as we begin a new year. You and I will continue our journey of faith into 2021. We have no idea what lays ahead of us, but we know that part of the plan will be God's plan, and he will ask us to do what he wants us to do. And with his grace and with his blessings, you and I will journey in faith and in hope. And that hope will strengthen us because God is with us. That hope will strengthen us because his son Jesus, whose birth we celebrate during the Christmas season, is Emmanuel, God ever present in our lives. And so we come here on this first day of a new year, knowing that like Mary, we are called to continue our journey of faith. Like Mary, we must believe in the grace and the blessings of God in our lives. And like Mary, we must believe that she will walk with us as her son walks with us. And throughout the coming year, whatever happens, God will be with his people.
And our prayer as we gather is the prayer that we heard in that first reading. Lord, bless us and keep us. Let your face shine upon us and be gracious to us. Look upon us kindly and give us your peace. And our prayer is our responsorial psalm. May God bless us in his mercy.